guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about photosis granules or photosis spots or photosis disease. So this is not really a disease of the oral mucosa as you might see in the name, but it's actually a developmental anomaly which is characterized by a heterotopic or ectopic collection of sebaceous glands in the oral cavity. So they say that during the development of the maxillary and the mandibular processes, there might have been an inclusion of the um, ectoderm which has the potential to give rise to skin in the oral cavity. So that is the reason we could actually see sebaceous glands that are present in the oral cavity. So this is actually a normal anatomic variation and it is seen in more than 80% of the population. All right. So um, these sebaceous glands are actually identical to those which are seen normally in the skin. But the difference is that it is unassociated with hair follicles. Okay. So they present as small yellow papules in the oral cavity. So as you can see here, so they are presenting as small yellow papules in the oral cavity and and why are they yellow? It's because of the sebum that is produced by the sebaceous glands. So that's the reason they are yellow. So each of these granules is about 1 to 3 millimeters and is discreetly separated from each other and they may form relatively large plaques. These are usually asymptomatic in the oral cavity. They are bilaterally symmetrical and they are mostly seen in adults because sebaceous glands do not reach the maximum development until puberty. So you would actually find them in the adults. Uh, where are these sebaceous glands commonly present? They are present in the buccal mucosa opposite the third molar. They can also be present on the lip, on the oral commissures, retromolar pad and the fossil pillars and the palate. So these are the common areas where they present. Coming to the histopathology, this is the epithelium. Here is your sebaceous gland. And this is your sebaceous duct. So these sebaceous glands are usually superficial and they may consist of one or more ducts which open on the surface of the mucosa. Apart from that, these uh, sebaceous ducts may also show keratin plugging, as you can see here. Now, if this comes for an examination, uh, this is how you can draw the diagram. Um, I think you guys can do a better job with the diagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you and see you guys in the next video.